So if you ever get to come to one of our turtle meetings, you'll see there's lots of awesome food. Can you scream it? Good morning, friends. Are we ready to share a wonderful day? Good morning, guys. So as you can see by that email, we're gonna be going to check out the good doctor today with that gopher snake. So I'm just gonna clean these up real quick head to work, and then we'll pick up on the way to the day. Alright guys, so I just got home, and I've got a feeling I know what this is, but I don't have time to open it right now. I think we'll open it tomorrow morning, and I'll show you guys. And I gotta go unload my truck real quick because I got all my tools back there and I don't want them getting ripped off when we're parked downtown because after we go see the doctor, we're going to go to our monthly turtle club meet and I'm gonna bring you guys along that as well, all right? Let's get moving. So a little birdie told me that the good doctor enjoys a little glass of whiskey every now and then. I had a little bottle of 21-year-old Bushmills sitting around that I'm gonna give to her as a big thank you for being there for me as my basically personal snake doctor every time I need her. Got the boys, Noah just finished his swim lesson. Noah, how was your swim lesson? Good. And we are behind schedule, so we need to get there really quick and I've always wanted to do this. All right, we're here with Dr. Emily Taylor. She's gonna help us out with this snake today. So what is it about you that makes you so awesome that you're willing to take care of <laughs> wild snakes on your free time? I love snakes. Yeah, that's, that's a good reason. That's a great reason. I love snakes, I know how to stitch them up. It just would cost a lot of money for a veterinarian and no one's gonna do that for a wild snake, so. I'm not a veterinarian. <laughs> but you do know how to work the needle. Um, I can do one type of stitch. The one that works on snake skin, that's it. How did you go about saving that king snake that had its heart out of its chest? Um, well, so the students, we found that night driving. And um, it's called a cardio seal when there's a, a cut to the body cavity and the heart pops out because it was under pressure. And um, I said that snake's not going to make it through the night. And they said, oh, please try to fix it, oh, please. And I said, all right, if in the morning, if it's still alive, then we'll do a surgery on it and we'll see if it works. And so it was still alive the next morning. And um, I have my surgery stuff with me in Arizona because we had been doing radio telemetry on black-tailed rattlesnakes. And so um, we anesthetized the little king snake and all I had to do was cut the cut a little bit wider, pop the heart back in and sew them up and then give them some antibiotics. And again, wasn't sure he was going to make it, so we took him home with us. And uh, this is like twice his size now, and he's growing. It's Ecto the snake, you can follow him on Twitter. How long have you been working with rattlesnakes, and what's the plan, project plan there? Yeah, so I've been working with rattlesnakes for about 18 years now, and then at Cal Poly for 12 years. I'm a physiologist, so I'm always doing research in the wild on animals physiology, so it's called environmental physiology, because it's like physiology, but with a ecological relevance, not really a biomedical relevance. And the projects vary every year. This year, um, my, my graduate student Haley is interested in their thermal physiology and their energy budgets and the effects of climate change. So she's putting these temperature data loggers inside the snakes. We're radio tracking them at four different field sites throughout the Central Coast. And um, also putting out snake models with temperature data loggers to see what they would be if they were sitting in different places. And then basically using those to make calculations about the metabolic rates of the snakes how much energy they're expending, how much energy we would expect them to have to expend in the future based on predicted climate change models, and thereby identifying kind of which populations may be most at risk for extinction, and so on. So it's a really cool project. We like to do outreach with kids in the, in the laboratory. Which 
that? I think it might possibly be his little testis for sure. Is that Weezer? Mm-hmm. What are you doing with it? I'm trying to clean off some of the little uh, pieces of rocks and stuff because we don't want those going in there. What's that? Gauze that we can use to kind of wipe. Wipe this down. Oh, it totally could have been a car yeah. that clipped it. Absolutely. We see a lot of times you'll see a little um, laceration on the side. Um, and he could be fine and he might not be. Why does that get real hot? Um, because the heat kills any of the little, little microbes or pathogens that might live on here so we don't give him an infection. You right. have to be real careful. We heard that you might like whiskey, so we, we got you. Uh, oh my god! Is, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know how much you know about Irish whiskey, but that's a pretty good one. Oh my god, that's so nice of you. You guys didn't have to do that. Yeah, well, Thank you. you. Do either, so, you know. Snake and whiskey. <laughs> so happy. That's really nice. Awesome. One kid eats all the poppies, the other kid eats <laughs> the crust. Just the crust. Let's take after their dad. No, I eat the whole thing. <laughs> Open that, please. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. What do you got to say about it? The idea of hot luck is things come in a pot. We're playing trivia. We're playing trivia. We need to know our turtles are ectothermic. Hey, they lay eggs? What does it mean? Oh, I see. <laughs> they are cold blooded. Hey. <laughs> They lay eggs. Okay, this slides. And they have a shell. So it's really They have a shell, right? It's because they have a shell. That's it. Write it down, write it down. <laughs> this, this is our chapter president. What do, Heck you, yeah. what do you have to say to yourself, young man? Uh welcome. We're we're you know we're representing the turtles out here, so yeah, we'll we'll keep it going. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! Oh man. Daddy! Daddy! What you getting into there, bud? <laughs> We're here at the Turtle Club. We basically sit around, talk about turtles, enjoy each other's company, and watch Noah Sage run around like a madman the whole meeting. Thank you. Lovely Denise is carrying around our show flyers. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the club does a uh, reptile show once a year right here in San Luis Obispo, and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, this is no, the wonderful Bob Thomas. Bob runs a turtle and tortoise rescue in Arroyo Grande. It's actually probably one of the nicest tortoise and turtle rescue facilities I've ever seen in my entire life. Maybe someday we'll, we'll take you guys down there and check it out. <laughs> so who, who's this for? Everybody. This is for the world. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are you doing that to me for, Brian? This is Lola. She used to be the president. Yeah, I used to be, but not anymore. What do you think about the current administration? It's good. Very good. Yes. Go away. Come on, Kim. This, Go is, our, this away. is our treasure. Say, mm. say something awesome. Come on, say something. Awesome. I was supposed to be giving up soda. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep injuring all your corn snakes? Those aren't corn snakes. What are you talking about? You left me a voicemail saying you injured your those, corn no, snakes. Those gopher snakes. Oh, gopher, gopher snakes. snakes. Mine, they you were said wild. you. Oh, okay, I was all like, why do you keep injuring your snakes? Daddy. Daddy. Noah. Can you please teach me a round of tablets? I already did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the heck? So, thank you guys for joining us today, and I hope you enjoyed the whole trip. Tomorrow and the next day, we're going to be taking it easy. Saturday, we're going to head to Manteca, and Brian Gundy is giving a talk up there, and we're going to go check him out. And then we're going to do some work over at Freedom Breeder, which should also be really awesome. You guys, take it easy and take care of each other, all right? From the president, vice president Brian over here.